All right, out here to move these birds. I like to move them in the morning and at night. They do a pretty good furt load on the ground and they, you know, I don't want them tearing it up too much. Have it come back quicker. But anyways, we're gonna move these birds. They learn real quick if you teach them right. All right, let's go birds. Let's go move birds, move birds. Come on, come on birds. Come on birds. Good birds, there we go. So, I'm going to talk about the absolute, guaranteed, not best chicken tractor, but it's pretty darn good. After trying out and seeing some over the years, I came up with this design here, and it's meant to last a long time, be super simple to build or replicate, and also be strong enough, but light enough to move. I use mostly, almost all, treated lumber. And the big, the big key here for how easy and lightweight and open air it is, is the corners you see here. I did them out of four by four posts. And the strength of those posts is all the support you need in the corner. And I just ripped, I just ripped down the side here. Didn't give it that hard edge as the birds like to congregate in the corners and I didn't want somebody getting pushed into a corner. The weight you would take off of that is pretty negligible, but it looks better too. Using these four by fours as corners, especially treated, means you don't need to you don't need to have a bunch of one by ones for cross supports. Basically, you don't need any of them. Um, a lot of open air here, a lot of chicken wire. Easy to put together. It's not all rickety with you know angles all over the place. And once you once you bolt on. This galvanized steel roofing here that adds such rigidity to this whole design here that you don't you don't need it I mean as you can see I mean I moved it around at the start of this one-handed while recording I mean with a pulled bicep and a <laughs> half sprained ankle right now so you know it's it's light enough that almost anybody can move it around and it's quite strong so and then you can see here, at the bottom here, I used, I actually used deck boards rather than, um, excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, that's a band-aid. Got a, I got a, got something in there you shouldn't get. Anyways, um, I used deck boards at the, okay, again, I got deck boards at the bottom. Yeah, reach down there. I got deck boards at the bottom that I ripped a little bit off, and that one inch I ripped off I actually saved. And, you know, you build enough stuff around the, around the farm or homestead. You end up using all that. I think I used those tops for a ramp for uh, a coop. The the grip, the tread that they can, the birds can use to get up on. But anyways, the top the top here, I used uh, I used uh, deck boarding as well, but I ripped it in half, and that allowed me to use one piece here and one piece over there. And then I had a little bit left over. I double reinforced this area here because this is where. You grab on to pick it up so I figured a little extra support there would be good um, so all the corners are that 4x4 four four. and then down here just to give something to nail this chicken wire to and create a little extra support I just used treated 2x4 and ripped that then in the back yeah chill out birds then in the back you can see where it's completely covered by that galvanized steel roofing I uh, just used some scrap that's actually a pallet a pallet board over there and that's a piece of just scrap cedar I had laying around and that was just to screw into the screw the galvanized steel roofing into something and then another 2x4 over there and then a whoops a 2x4 right there for a cross support underneath and that's what I nailed the very end of this steel roofing into <laughs> the top here I mean well you can see here it's about I went with 28 inches high. I figured that felt that would give the birds plenty of room and not feel so confined, but also easy enough that I, you know, or my wife could step into, which, you know, which means most people could easily. So, and then you can just grab this lid here, this door hatch here, and do that. So I just built a frame here 
and this is this is this is untreated here I figured it's no ground contact it'll dry out pretty fast I could stain it if I wanted to but I just had some I just had some two by fours laying around that weren't really the greatest of quality so I just threw them on here and that's a you know it's good use for them for my locking mechanism I had a, a galvanized bolt sitting around a couple of them so all you do is you just put it in here and then put it right in the hole there and then the door is locked and if something can figure out how to get in here they deserve a bird I left this space open I didn't think I mean you know a raccoon could get an arm down here but the birds shouldn't be that stupid to go checking it out and I mean maybe a weasel could slide in there but not one big enough and I don't think we really have tons of those around here so I, I've been I haven't had any issues yet I haven't seen anything even try to dig you know no evidence of issues but just put a little piece of 2x4 here for a stopper and obviously galvanized hinges and then these birds here in this case I started them out when it was pretty cool so what I ended up doing is this this chicken wire here goes all the way from the front to the back and it's it's a lot of open air and that's really good in the summertime it lets more air process through for them and cools them off but they still get that they still get the same amount of shade so but what I did it's it started them off and it was still getting down maybe in the 40s at night so I put on these I just had I literally had this much like this much treated plywood left so I figured what the heck they're gonna do me a solid by filling the freezer so I'll do them a solid but anyways you can take that off put it back on and uh, but I wanted to give them the corners the solid corners for just that extra protection from the wind and the rain and whatnot and the way I did these wheels here I, uh, first of all, these are, I don't know, I don't remember what size, maybe 8 inch, 8 inch wheels. I figured they'd be a little bit bigger. They're just solid wheels. Um, but you can see how I mounted them, just some lag screws that go all the way into the post in the back, the 4x4 post. But what it does is it creates a permanent slight elevation there in the back. So maybe it makes it so the back sits about an inch off the ground. And what this does, the fir very early on, because like I said, the birds learn... The birds learn how to move with the tractor as you go. Well, what it does is it makes it, you can see in the back there, well, when they haven't learned yet, if you got dumb birds, um, when you start to slowly move the tractor, rather than just suck them up and kill them, because that, that's, you know, if you pay attention, that happens to quite a few people. But rather than have that happen, what happens is, is their toes go underneath and they basically just get booped in the backside. So it kind of pushes them along. But after that happens, once or twice, they uh, they learn real quick and you don't have that problem. But this, this eliminates that foot injury risk right out the gate. And now the only risk is these guys. Now actually they're pretty good. We've had them get out and I've told the dogs what to do and they listen. They want to, but they listen, they're good boys. Then back here you can see I have one sheet of uh, steel roofing here and that goes up, bends around the top here and finishes about right here. And then I have one more sheet going there and you can see at a dimension of seven by eight, having that one sheet over there bend around and then another sheet, that gives them a, a little over 50% of uh, full aerial coverage from the sun and stuff like that and weather. And doing a seven by eight, that's, you know, 56 square feet. And I've decided, like I said, you know, we want these birds to be happy and healthy. We got the space. So we wanted to do about, I think maybe we did like 16 birds in here each. And, you know, that's about three and a half square feet per bird. Um, I know a lot of people recommend that you can get away with like two to two and a half for Cornish Cross, but we're not really into the Cornish Cross. They're just... They don't really seem like birds, They're just kind of franken birds in our opinion. But you know, you got to do what you got to do. These take a little bit longer, but we don't really care. We're using them out here. You know, one of the, one of the reasons we got them was to help heal this pasture. We've got all the way back there. We've got all the way up there to the house, 
and then you know we got back and behind the trees there and i think historically for the past whatever some decades ago they just grew tons of crops out here lots of corn and this this soil you know this soil here is not is not the richest anymore so we're we're gonna have we're gonna be cycling some animals over all this pasture here and try to get it healed back up you can tell where where they didn't grow anything the soil is still super super rich i mean tons of worms when you dig into it real heavy black dirt but it gets a little it's a little barren out here but as i said three and a half square feet per bird it's i mean they're not you know they're what are these birds maybe i don't know they're maybe a month out from from being butchered or something like that but you know they're getting they're getting pretty big and they got plenty of room in there and uh like i said i like to move them every 12 hours they do you know they do they like to dig in the sand and the dirt and all that kind of stuff and kick it all around and they eat a good bit of grass so i like to move them every 12 hours it helps them not lay in their crap too much too so it's just a nice thing to do they're not that far away especially if you're driving something out here i'm gonna wrap this up quick here these birds i, I moved one of these tractors out i got their i got their feed and water and they're definitely waiting to get it back in there but i just wanted to show my uh design for a chicken tractor here you know like i said i don't have any plans kind of just made it up but that's really all i want to see ever you know i don't want to see a detailed plan i just basically show me a picture i'll add it to the bank and maybe it'll help me come up with something else later so hopefully hopefully this gives some ideas for you know anybody else out there looking thinking about getting some birds but like you know with this with this tractor here i mean you could do you could do you could do chickens you could do rabbits it's tall enough you could get you could do ducks all that kind of stuff um, and then obviously, you know, just don't forget with your staples here, you're going to want to use stainless steel. Don't forget that. That'd be a, that'd be a rookie mistake having to come out here and replace or redo all those staples because they rusted out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments.